Welcome back to the Doc's Diagnosis presented by Citrus Federal Credit Union. If you haven't done so already, hit subscribe on the YouTube channel. We'd love to have you back here on a regular basis. And Dr. Rob, everybody's been talking about this 3-3-5 defense. And to be honest, it's performed quite nicely all season long. Without this defense, Nebraska would not be where it's at. And following a turnover by the Nebraska offense, which seems to happen quite often, the defense continues to come up with big plays, and yesterday was another example. It really was. I mean, they had a great game the whole game. Um, when you saw Purdue have those opportunities on offense, it all came because of miscues by Nebraska's offense. The de I thought the defense played great all throughout. Now, kind of one of the things I wanted to point out here is just when you're looking at this defense, the biggest thing that the 3-3-5 gives you is the ability to make person is to create personnel matchups between the defense and the offense and it allows you to create those mismatches on the fly and so when you see the offense line up here you've got three down linemen you've got three linebackers and then you've got the five guys for the five of the three five five and right here's luke gifford that's kind of the key guy on this particular play because for that 3-3-5 three, five, three, three, five to work, you got to have a pretty good player in terms of sort of this, the, I guess they call it kind of like a, I, I don't know the technical term, but sort of a hybrid rover safety linebacker type. And Gifford fits that role outstandingly. Well, I've talked a lot about how like JoJo Doman did it previously in Chenander's defense. Um, Luke Gifford's been playing great all year. Now, one of the things that creates this is you watch the quarterback come up to the line of scrimmage here. What you're going to see is Gifford shifts from basically coming up as a safety to where he's going to creep up on the line of scrimmage right here, right outside Sherman at that outside linebacker spot. And the plays, it, it's a read option play by the quarterback. Now, any option play, any read option play, you can have one guy come in untouched, and on this play, it's going to be Sherman would normally be the guy that the quarterback's going to be looking at and keying on and saying, okay, this is the guy I'm looking at right there. That's who I'm going to read off of is him, whether I keep the ball, hand it off to the running back. It's going to be dependent upon what that linebacker does. When Gifford comes up, the quarterback, I don't think he really notices him on this plane. You pointed that yeah. out, that he's looking off to the right, doesn't seem to really notice that as much, and keeps that option play on to the left, and you end up, because of that shifting personnel, it creates that mismatch right here where you end up with two unblocked players so, on so the So you're play. telling me the quarterback here um, is, is this. So this guy's right here, right? He's actually reading this guy as the read. He doesn't see Gifford come up, correct? I don't think he does. I think he's looking to the right, and in my opinion, when I watch this play play out several times, he's looking, I'm not going to the right, I'm going to the yeah. left, and right there you see that Gifford's completely unblocked. You've got an unblocked defender for the quarterback, an unblocked defender for the running back. That play was dead in the water no matter who kept the ball on that given Gifford play. Gifford seemed to be hiding right over Sherman's hip, so I don't think he and saw I him. And I think that was by design. So, so but, yeah. it wor but it worked well. But again, that, that's the thing the 3-3-5 does. It's ability to create mismatches like that with personnel. If you like the, like the doc diagnosis, please share it with uh, some of your friends who would like to see it. Also, hit subscribe on the YouTube channel and uh, share this and uh, watch all our videos right here on YouTube. For Dr. Rob Zadisk, I'm Travis Justice. We will see you next week on the Doc's Diagnosis presented by Centris Federal Credit Union. Ready to embark on a new financial journey? Centris Federal Credit Union is here to help. Centris is your trusted financial partner, focused on what truly matters, giving back to our communities and ensuring their members' experience is top-notch. With 15 convenient locations, Centris's mobile and online banking, instant-issued debit cards, and local expertise, your new financial path is closer than you think. Visit centrisfcu.org, stop by a Centris branch, or give them a call at 402-334-7000 to learn more about how they can help you achieve financial success. Centris Federal Credit Union, federally insured by NCUA and equal housing lender. Your journey to financial freedom starts here. Centris Federal Credit Union, where you and your community come first.